I'm just having too much fun, man. I'm like a kid in a candy store with all these new attachments. I love them. Welcome back, everybody, to Icarus. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to um, try and build the uh, lower level attachment bench so we can get the prerequisites for the upper level attachments, uh, possibly the chemistry station, and um, kind of go from there. Uh, but first of all, I spent um, quite a bit of time off camera. I took um, Buddy the Buffalo and the cart into the desert and hit a whole bunch of caves and we have got lots of ore. Um, so you can see uh, how much we have in terms of aluminum, in terms of gold, some platinum, and um, several, like t uh, 400, <laughs> 405 to be precise, titanium ore. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so one of you guys mentioned to me in the comments, and this didn't register in my brain, it should have, but it didn't, that I really should have put the titanium mod on the pick that increases the yield. Um, but I didn't see that comment until after I had already mined all of this up. So what that means though, is it means that's going to be um, one of the highest priorities that we're going to do. And hopefully, hopefully we can switch those mods out. I haven't been able to determine that yet. If we cannot, then we make a second titanium pick with the titanium mod. Um, and our first titanium pick, which we don't have anything on at all at the moment, we'll probably put copper because copper seems to be the hardest or, um, you know, to, to keep in quantity. So anyway, that's the plan with that. I'm going to take out a stack of gold and put it in here. So we have two stacks because we need that for composite. And then the rest of this, we're just going to start it up and get it going there and uh, yeah that's going to be a lot of nice um a high-end ores uh, for a smelted i don't think any of the rest of those we need in raw form and then i have complete almost completely filled up the concrete furnace with copper ore because that's really what we were going after and that's going to give us a nice supply of copper ore uh, moving forward okay so we're in pretty good shape right now with the ores now, I also have um, a mess of blueprint points to spend because I leveled several times while we were out in the desert. Um, so let's like, take a look at this. We have 13 points to spend. So let's go to tier four first and start looking at some things that we might want to put these points into. I'm still kind of prioritizing things, but it's not quite as critical now uh, as it was before. Um, Okay, so high quality. This is growth speed and but crop yield, and this is bit planted crop growth speed, twenty five percent. Okay, so this one makes it grow faster. This one makes it grow slower, but gives us half again as much or twice 50% uh, uh, more basically interesting okay um, that takes basic fertilizer and sulfur that takes basic fertilizer and silica hmm interesting I'm, I'm gonna have to think about about that um, plumbed oh a plumbed sink only plumbed basement and running water well that's neat marble kitchen storage so this kitchen bench allows us to cook faster and this has plumbed water which means I mean <laughs> we don't really need it because we've got the rain reservoir uh, right outside there but I don't know that's kind of cool uh, you know we're kind of getting to the point now where um you know it, we're, we're, we're kind of in the nice to haves and not necessarily the essentials but let's just Let's just confirm that there's no more what I would consider essentials before we before we start doing the nice to haves. I really have never seen the purpose of an electric masonry bench or an electric carpentry bench, uh, at least not in a single player game. Maybe if you were building an, an enormous base, I could see the benefit, but you know, I just don't see that. So the, these would be the, one of the last things we would get. Air conditioner and heater. 
no need. I mean, we just never never had a need for it. At least not, you know, with a base in the forest. Electric dehumidifier would be kind of nice in caves, but you know, with the antibiotic pills that make you immune to um, pneumonia, I don't even really see the benefit of that, to be honest with you. A directional work lamp or an omnidirectional work lamp, maybe, I don't know. Electric extractor, I'm, I'm not convinced uh, that we even have exotics at all uh, in open world. I've never seen any. So if, if that's the case, that would be worthless to get on this character. Electric radar, uh, same thing, that's for finding... Well, I guess if we got this and put it down, that would that would tell us if there were any. Um, so that's something to think about. I'd kind of like the dropship beacon. It's not that big of a deal, but... <clears throat> something to think about. <laughs> I mean, we could always go with the titanium tools, you know, the sickle and the hammer, now that we have a nice supply of titanium. In fact, why don't we do that? Let's go ahead and learn the sickle. Maybe not the hammer at this point. Okay, and I, th I think that kind of finishes me with tier uh, tier 4. Except for, the more I think about it, I think I'd rather have slower crop growth and more yield. So let's go ahead and learn that. We are, we are going to, of course, need to make the chemistry bench. Okay, let's drop back down into tier 3. Um, let's do bread dough and beer. A metal oxide dissolver, a repair bench. A f Let's try the fire extinguisher out um, because I want to see if if that's actually could actually potentially be effective. You know, for um, putting out forest fires. Uh, we need all of these attachments here for the alteration bench. Uh, we could maybe do shotgun. I don't know. A beer bottle and wine bottle. We are going to need if we're going to make beer and wine. And then, uh, as far as, oh yeah, building pieces. Now that I think about that, we, we want to go to tier two for a second. And we want to get the wood wall and the interior wood ramp. Um, and the interior wood stairs. Okay, so, oh, that's it. Okay, so that spent all of our points. But, you know, again, as you can see, we've pretty much, for the most part, um, gotten all of the essential things or the priority things and now it's just kind of nice to have sorts of things okay so we spent all of those points now let's go ahead and hold on a second okay let's go ahead and grab that out of there uh, I'm going to actually grab that iron ore out of there, too, and we'll just throw that in here for the moment, I guess. Oh, I have some platinum in here, too. Okay, and bought quite a bit of aluminum. Yeah, we are going to have a nice supply of metals um, by the time that stuff all smelts. It should, should hold us in good stead for a while. Okay, we'll put the copper over here. Um, what we want to make, though, is we want to make this um, bit, this alterate this alteration bit so we have everything now we need except for we need 24 iron ingots so let's just grab a couple stacks of those I'm gonna have to probably go get some more iron here fairly soon okay let's make this alteration bench I will know in the future that this is a prerequisite to the other one it's not a prerequisite to building the other one but it's a prerequisite for 90 percent of the modules in the other one Great. Now, where are we going to put this thing? Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. I guess we could put it over here. Sure, why not? Uh, make sure we're facing south so everything is nice and lined up. Okay, cool. Now, um, I want... What do I want to do? Oh, you know what else, guys? Um, I want to try the missions. That's actually in... Is that in Tier 1 or Tier 2? Maybe it's Tier 2. Uh, I don't remember if I learned the... I think it's called, like, Portable Radio or something like that. Did I learn that? I didn't. Okay, so the next time we level, 
um, we're going to get this and the orbital exchange interface allows you to order a delivery pod for exotic retrieval. Well, maybe maybe if we take these missions, it will make exotics available to us. Um, nevertheless, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try that next time. Uh, okay, so what I want to do now is I want to. I want to put the titanium attachment on my current pick. So that means if we go here and we choose the pick, advanced titanium attachment. All right, so we need to make the titanium attachment first in here. So we'll choose the... I'm sure glad they have a filter on here. and That'd be a pain in the butt to have to search through that. Okay, so we just need... Uh, that's really good, actually. 25% yield? My goodness. that's This is just a low-level one. Okay. Um, so we need four copper ingots and eight steel screws. Yeah, next time, next time I do a playthrough starting from scratch, you guys, I'm going to really prioritize these modification benches. I just... I, you know, they're new to me, so I didn't realize how valuable they were. Let's just put a whole stack of screws up there, and uh, we'll grab some copper, too. All right. So, let's craft this. Looks like I'm losing some food buffs. Yesterday afternoon, which was Saturday, January 14th, I did some live streaming, for those of you who didn't see, and we did some speed runs and uh, had some fun there. So, check that out if you want to. It's on the, the live video section of the channel okay now to make the big titanium attachment wait a second are you saying that I could have made this in here hold on did I just have I completely lost my marbles <laughs> did we not need to make this bench hmm yeah, you know what? I don't think we needed to make the bench, but we still needed to learn it because it's a prerequisite for the mods. Oh, balls. <laughs> okay, let's... Here, let me confirm that before I beat myself up for being dumb. Yeah, we, we still had to learn this. <clears throat> and honestly, if you look at the materials to make it, it's not that expensive. We still had to learn this in order to learn these. So it's not that we needed to make the bench. We needed to learn it to learn... Ah, dog on it. Okay, well, you know what? Not that big a deal, I guess. This wasn't super expensive to make, so... Crap. Okay. Well, again, like I said, in, in future playthroughs, I will definitely be making this as soon as possible, even before I can make this, knowing the benefit of it. Uh, because, you know, it's, it's looking here like I could have actually made the, the tier one in this workbench after all okay live and learn live and learn okay so titanium attachment so we need four titanium ingots uh, to make that okay we can do that let's uh, split this stack and we'll just take ten up with us Advanced titanium attachment. 40% yield for mining titanium. My word, that is huge. <laughs> That's very generous. Okay, let's craft it. Um why isn't crap why isn't it crafting? It's it's not crafting. Why isn't it crafting? I don't understand. Oh, power. Power, power, power. That's why. Um, okay, let's grab the electrical tool. Hmm, I thought I had hooked that up already, but apparently not. Well, what's that run into? It shows that it's hooked up. Yeah. 
Insufficient power. I thought the uh, water wheel, which... Is that even moving? Houston, we have a problem. This water wheel will slowly accumulate items to float into it while active. When 50 items are present, they will need to be cleaned out for the water field. Oh, oh, it collects sponges? How interesting. Okay. I didn't know that. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I think I did know that. I think, I think uh, one of the dudes on our multiplayer hadn't mentioned that, but I completely forgot about it. That's actually really useful. We can use this for those um, sustenance tonics and that for fertilizer. I actually like that. Okay. Well, how about that, man? We learned something new. Or we were reminded of something, I guess, that we sort of kind of knew. <laughs> All right, let's head on back. All right, let's take um, an anti-poison. There's the... the um, Piranha's got me. And uh, we'll just, I guess we'll just stick this fish in here for now. I That is really good, man, that we got the spoiled plants. Really good. Uh, we need to eat, too. Let's have a, some pie and some roast veggies. At some point, we're probably going to try and make a foray into the Arctic biome to get some mushrooms. <coughs> so we can make the meat pies. All right, we have four stomach slots. So let's also have some bacon. Beautiful thing. Okay, we're gonna put um, all of that in there. And we'll put this in here. And that could go in there. And the bones can go in there. Okay, so back to making the titanium pick attachment. So, uh,. Advanced titanium pit. I guess we have to clear the queue and start it over again. There it goes. Nifty. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make the advanced copper attachment, and then I'm going to see if I can interchange them or not. All right. Now let's go to this side of the bench. Put that in there. Put this in here. And alter. Titanium Smith 2. I really like this new feature in the game. I, I don't know how new it is. It might may have been around for several months, but it's new to me. Okay. Very cool. 40% yield for mining titanium. Amazing. Okay. Now, <coughs> excuse me, let's make the copper one next. So, we want... Well, hopefully there is one. There's a gold attachment too, which would be the third one I would do. Okay, copper attachment. So we need iron ingot and steel screw. Um, iron ingot. And didn't I... Oh yeah, I've got the steel screws already. Okay, so let's craft this. I'm sure, I, I'm hoping it's going to let me swap them out. I hope it does. Because this is an attachment, so that implies that it can be attached and then detached. Advanced Platinum. Okay, here we go. And we already have everything we need to make the, the big one. Okay, now, let's take... Put that in there. Ah, okay, so remove... And I'm, I have to assume we will we'll get it back, that it doesn't break it. Huzzah, we got it back. Okay. And then we can put the copper one on. All right. Bravo, devs. I've been yelling at you a long time for your performance issues. Um, and you deserve to be yelled at for your damn performance issues. But <laughs> this is cool, man. I like this. Good job, you guys. Okay. Not that they're watching my videos, but you know. Uh, okay, cool. So now we got the copper. Um, I think I'll just keep the copper one on there now. Um, but... We can come back and do this one later. I love it. I love it, you guys. Okay, now, next thing we're going to do is we're going to work on a scope for our rifle. 
So let's go to hunting, uh, hunting rifle. Rifle attachments. And what I want is, okay, so let's look at these again. The hunting scope grants lock on one. We already have that though. Yeah, we already, uh, well, no. We have the, the number one version. I think we want the sniper scope or the or the advanced scope. Okay, so this this grants scope to 50% aim speed and 30% zoom while aiming. So that does zoom in. So what's the difference between this and the sniper? Flexible frame. Oh, that's kind of neat too. Um Advanced sniper scope. So this is 60% zoom while aiming, and the, oh, and this one has the critical damage, right? Okay, so we definitely want the critical damage. I hope it actually puts a scope on it too, and it's not just looking down the iron sights. So we need to make the sniper scope attachment first. Okay, so we got everything we need for that. All right, and then and looks like we have everything for the advanced. Woot woot. Okay, now let's go to this side. And we want to remove the hunting scope attachment. Didn't particularly find that all that useful. There was a couple times when, you know, some critters were in the brush and the highlight helped a little bit, but I wasn't super impressed with it. Okay, now, advanced sniper scope attachment. The thing that was the most disappointing to me, though, about the hunting scope is it wasn't actually a scope. Okay, here we go. Let's see what happens. No scope! Come on, man! What the hell? <laughs> There's no scope! Oh, you gotta be kidding me! How hard can that be? Every other game that has guns in it with scopes in it has an actual scope that you look through, and this one doesn't? For Pete's sake. Alright, well, I mean, the rest of it's still gonna be useful, don't get me wrong, but that's just, I don't know. Maybe maybe they'll fix that in the future. Maybe it's maybe it's a bug. Maybe they, I don't know. <laughs> Come on, man. Where's my scope? That is really cool that we can zoom in though. It basically gives us the binoculars effect, which that's something we could learn too, I suppose. But maybe we don't really need to now that we have this, unless the binocs have a an even further zoom. All right. Well, Dad, burn it. So we got 60% zoom, but we also have 35% critical damage. And I, I I don't know what the hardened points things mean. I think I asked that question an episode or two ago, but I'm, I'm way ahead of you guys too, by the way. Um, and just a, a quick note, you probably already know this by the time you're watching this video, but I'm actually going to be out of town for the last week in January on a business trip. And then when I get back, uh, I have an in-town uh, work thing that's going to tie me up quite a bit too. So... Um, so that's, uh, that's one of two reasons why I'm so far ahead of you guys. So that way I can keep the videos coming even when I'm not able to make them. The first reason is I'm just loving this game so much that I can't stop playing it. <laughs> that's all there is to it. Okay, this is nice. I, 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 I'm not complaining about the actual function of this. I just, it needs a scope. I mean, come on, man. All right, enough complaining about that. So, um... What do we want to do next? I mean, there's so many cool things we can and should do. But let's look at, um... Did we do the bow attachment? Yeah, what's the... What is the Tier 2 bow attachment? Advanced economic attachment. Wear rate and, and less projectile break. Okay, well, we only have 5% break on our arrows anyway, so that's not super useful. Rapid fire attachment? Isn't that what we already have? I think it is. Well, we we have rapid fire once, so 25% rate of fire, reload speed, and charge speed. Oh, we do have the double. We must have been able to make the double. Okay. Um. Rapid fire one, rapid fire one. Okay, yeah, so we already have this attached to our bow. Strengthened strings. What does this do? Arrow speed, wear rate, stamina consumed by actions, and reload speed. 
advanced trajectory. Oh, this is good, you guys. Look at that. 50% arrow speed and projectiles are highlighted for easier finding of the arrows. I think I like that one. Um, yeah, see, this is rate of fire. Yeah, I don't, we don't really, I don't really need, I mean, that's okay, but I want this. Uh, no, not this. I want trajectory module. Okay, so let's make the first one. So we need some refined wood and some steel ingots. Man, we are getting some nice upgrades today, you guys. I love it. Absolutely love it. We'll get some refined wood and some steel. Still can't believe they don't have a scope on the rifle. What the heck, man? <laughs> uh, okay, let's go back to the boat. And uh, trajectory module attachment. Okay, so we'll get that. And then to make the second one, we need uh, just two aluminum ingots. We've got lots of aluminum ingots and lots more coming. Oh, let me check this. Is there enough room for you to keep going? No, we're out of space. Okay, let's grab all of the existing copper ingots out of there. And we'll throw all of those into there. Um... I don't know if we need another one, so let's keep one in our inventory while we're doing these upgrades. Okay, back to bows and advanced trajectory module. Advanced scope. Aim speed and zoom on the bow. Well, now that we know for sure that there's not a scope, I still think I would prefer to have this one. So let's craft this. Alright, and then... We go over to here, and we grab our bow, remove the attachment that's currently on there. You know, even just, you know, making the sounds and stuff, I, I, this is very well done. I, I love how they did, did these attachments. Okay, uh, we want the advanced trajectory module, alter, 50% arrow speed, and projectiles are highlighted. I like it. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's test let's test this. I didn't really notice the speed, but the highlighting of the arrow is wonderful. Look at that. Oh crap. I didn't know we were on fire. Wait, let's get uh let's get some Oh that is so nice. That's gonna make Recovering arrows just absolutely amazing. Um, let's. I don't. It was probably too late to do anything about that, but let's get some fire extinguishers made up. So the next time, oh, I need to harvest some crops too before they go bad. I'm just having too much fun, man. I'm like a kid in a candy store with all these new attachments. I love them. Okay, let's get uh, all of this stuff harvested real quick. Need to get some more um, stickerooskies going. You guys know is it is it worth changing the sticks into sticks for the fuel, or just leaving it um, as wood? I remember reading about that at one point. Somebody said it's better to make the sticks first, but I guess I've never substantiated that. Uh, so let me know if you guys know in the comments. Okay, so let's sort this up here. Uh, we've got over a full stack of pies. We got over a full stack of roast veggies. Uh, we got a full stack of fish curry. So I think what we'll do is let's uh, let's put all the watermelons in there and all of the carrots in here. Yeah, and then the rest of this stuff. Pumpkins. We got seven there. Squash. Here, let's split the squash in half. And then the rest of the stuff I'm going to give to the critters. You guys are 
guys are probably hungry, aren't you? There you go. Enjoy. Bon appetit. Okay, so, um, how's things going in here? Oh, okay. Look at that aluminum. Oh my goodness, we got so much aluminum. That is just amazing. Alright, we'll just, you know, we're going to eventually get all of it, even if I have to make another chest to store extra ingots. Very, very nice problem to have. Absolutely wonderful problem to have. Okay, so, um... We got the bow upgraded. We got the gun upgraded. Let's let's get our Kniffy upgraded next. We did up put the electric shock thing on it, but I've never seen that. I've never visibly seen that happen. Um. So it kind of goes back to not visibly having the, the scope. Electro shock attachment. Let's look at these again. What else do we have? Okay, this is just plain more melee damage. I wonder if that might even be better. Because this is only a 40% chance, and it's only 5 more melee damage. Attack speed, nah. I mean, that's nice, but not super good. This is better yield from butchering, but I got meat and skin coming out my ears, so we don't need that. Yeah. Advanced leather. Right. Okay. Let's go for the damage one. Uh, so we're going to need some leather for that, and then what are we going to need for the, the number 2 version? Some epoxy and some copper nails. Okay, so let's grab some leather. Um, uh, let's grab some epoxy. That's gonna be probably it either in here. Yeah. And we have some copper nails in here. Let's make another thing of copper nails because I don't. No, 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 no. We don't want that. I don't remember how many copper nails it said. I just saw copper nails, so we'll just grab a, little, a few extra there. Let's go in here for leather. Okay, so we want to make the melee damage attachment. If it showed like a, you know, a little arcing for the electricity, that would be very cool, but I have never seen it, and I've used my knife many times with that attachment, so... Um... Oh, we're just going to go for raw damage. So 20% melee damage. That's pretty decent. That is pretty decent. Okay, let's go into here. And we're going to go uh, take our Kniffy and put it in here. <coughs> Remove the electroshock attachment. And we're going to put the... Advanced melee damage attachment. On. Im Impact two, it's called. Very nice, very very nice indeed. Okay, that takes care of all of our weapons. Um, we could do our. Um, well, here before we do the axe, um, and the sickle, let's look at armor next. So, what do we have for head attachments? Advanced Supplemental Respiration Attachment. 60% health regeneration in caves and resist pneumonia. Eh, that would be nice if I didn't have the antibiotic pills. But it's just not that important. Advanced Storm. It, it, uh, a storm Advisor Attachment. Okay, 40% stamina regeneration during a storm and 10% exposure resistance. Now that could be useful. Because I still do get caught out in storms. So let's keep that one in mind. Chance to resist poison and 10% water consumption. So, okay. Again, if I didn't have the poison pills, that would be on the list. Tracking attachment. Because see world bosses on map, 50% critical damage. Is that 15% critical damage across the board or just to bosses? Hmm. Recovery attachment. Okay, yeah, um, I'm thinking the storm exposure one is probably my favorite. Storm Rider 2. 
having the stam generation during a storm and exposure resistance because there was a couple times actually when i was out with a buddy in the desert that we got caught out in the middle of a sandstorm and i survived it but it was a pain in the neck um so i think this is the one that i want this one's interesting though um the tracking attachment if i knew that that is just critical damage across the board. I mean, that would be worth it to do it alone. I suppose we could make it and see, because, okay, let's look at something. If we go to here, health, stamina, melee, does it tell us what our current critical is? Resistance. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know, man. I, I, I'm not seeing... It, it, it might be in front of me. I mean... There's like a wall of text here, but I, I didn't see anything that said critical. You'd think it would be under maybe these two here if we had it at all. So, okay, well, if you guys know that this means 15% critical damage across the board and not specifically to bosses, um, I'll probably make this and, and, and use this instead. But until then, we are going to make the storm advi uh, a storm visor. Okay, so we need some glass for the, the tier one. Got a little bit of glass there. This 10% exposure resistance and stamina regen during storms is going to be useful. Okay, we need one electronics to make the tier 2 version. Let's make some electronics in here. And we just need one of those. Alright. Now, we come in here. We're going to have to take our... Uh, our helm off. Advanced storm visor attachment. Okay, and while that's going on, let's look at the next armor piece. Uh, for <clears throat> on our chest piece, we already have the one that gives us the extra stomach slot, and that's Hardy One. Is there a Hardy Two? Body armor chat attachments. Nutrition attachment. Twenty percent, forty percent health regeneration and ten percent physical resistance. Wow, that is really good too, man. But is it better than having the? buffs that we get from the fourth food slot that this gives us and having those effects last longer I don't know we'd have to we'd have to compare and see that is tempting though I'm not gonna lie that is really tempting 40% health regeneration and 10% physical resistance I'll have to think about that. We're going to keep the food buff one on for now, though. All right. Let's put this back on. We'll skip over the chest. Let's do the legs next. Okay. So this is climbing stamina consumed by jumping and swimming speed. This is noise suppression. Ooh. 20% perceived threat while stealth and movement speed while crouched. That gives us weight capacity and inventory slots. <clears throat> and this just gives us 40% health regeneration. Okay, I'm going to... I mean, the stealthy one's nice, but I like this one. Okay, so we're going to go for this. So we need a platinum ingot and two composites to make that. Let's grab one of these stacks of platinum out of here. And... Let's split this composite stack and we'll just take those up with us. Okay, plating attachment. Advanced plating attachment. 
You know what I'd be interested in, too, if any of these give us cold resistance, you know, for going that into the Arctic. All right, I'll put those on there, and we are looking for advanced plating attachment. My word, though, man, if you put these on every armor piece, <laughs> you'd be so tough. You'd go up to a bear and just slap him in the face and not worry about it. Well, maybe not that good, but still. Okay, so put these back on. Uh, all right, let's do hands next. Calibrated grip. Stamina consumed by tool actions, wear rate. Rubberized attachment. Falling resistance, 20% chance to avoid a sprain. Okay. Or pockets attachment. <clears throat> um... The wear rate's kind of nice, actually. That wouldn't be bad. This gives us 10 kilograms of weight and four more inventory slots. If I didn't ha <clears throat> have Buddy the Buffalo to do the big hauling, this would be really good. But we do. So I'm... That doesn't really appeal to me a whole lot because of that reason. Falling resistance would be nice. 40% chance to avoid a sprain or 20% wear rate of items. Oh, man, I don't know. Either one of these, really. Uh, I'm, hmm. I think I'm going to go with uh, the, the wear rate of items. 20% less when we do the Tier 2. Some of these are kind of a hard decision, you know. It's like, well, either one of them would be really good, you know. But I think that's the one we're going to do. Okay, now, put the gloves in here. Advanced calibration grip, attachment, and alter. Worksman 2 is what that's called. And, you know, less stamina when we're, when we're uh, mining up a big boulder or something. That's going to be useful, too. But mostly I'm doing this for the wear rate. Hopefully that also applies to weapons, too, and not just tools. And last but not least, feet. Okay, what do we have for feet? Aerodynamic, rubberized attachment, noise suppression. 20% perceived threat while stealth, 20% crouch movement speed. You know what? I like that. I think I'm going to go with this for the boots. Uh, so we're going to need some fur and some iron nails. It's the first time I've needed fur for anything in forever. In forever. <laughs> See what I did there? Okay. All right, so we are doing boots. We're going to do noise suppression. Yeah, 20% perceived threat, less 20%, and 20% movement speed while crouched is going to be nice. The, the other thing that's really cool about these is you could really, you know, create different builds, too. It just gives you another way to create either really hardcore stealth builds with the talents in this, or rounding your character out more if you didn't take the talents for that sort of thing. So I really, really like this. Okay, so we want advanced noise suppression attachment. Okay, can we do anything with our backpack? Axe attachments, pickaxe, spear, sickle, pistol, rifle. Okay, so let's look at, uh, well here, actually let's get something to eat and drink first. Have some pie here. We'll take this one because it's down lower. Take that. Roast veggies and and bacon. All right, what are we doing? Um, axe. We're gonna look at our axe next. 
Okay, so melee damage attachment, don't care about that. Attack speed, don't care about that with an axe. Bleed attachment, don't care about that with an axe. Really? You're not going to give me anything like for harvesting more wood? What the heck, man? Attack speed, bleed attachment, or electroshock attachment. <laughs> I don't get it. Why wouldn't there be like a harvest more wood on an axe? Oh, for Pete's sake. Okay, well, then I guess the only one that really makes sense is attack speed, so we can swing it a little faster when we're cutting trees down. Hmm, that is weird. I don't think they thought that one through well enough, if you ask me. Let's take our axe, which is here, and we want the advanced attack speed. I mean, being able to swing the axe 20% faster is going to be useful for faster harvesting, but still, I would have preferred to see, you know, 20% more yield from wood or something like that. So it's not worthless, it's just not as good as it could have been. All right, let's do our sickle next. Hopefully this one has more harvest yield. <clears throat> Melee damage, attack speed, reaping attachments. Yeah, see, you need something like this also for the ax. Bleed, poison, and electroshock. Okay, so let's make this. And we should have enough to make the tier two also. And we did learn the titanium sickle just because we have enough to do it now. So why don't we make a titanium sickle and then we'll be done with it. We are, we can do that right now. Look at that. It's a beautiful thing. Okay, we'll put the platinum up here just as a backup, I suppose. Uh, which means we don't need the bone sickle any longer. Okay, let's put the titanium sickle in here and advanced reaping attachment. 50% yield, that is so good. 25% chance to cause hemorrhage on hit with attacks. Oh, hmm. interesting. I suppose that would happen in real life if you slash somebody with a sickle. All right. I think that's it, guys. I think we have completely kitted ourselves out with the equipment that we currently own. Um, yeah, uh, we didn't do spears because we don't have spears. We didn't do crossbows or pistols or shotgun. That doesn't mean we won't maybe in the future. What, what does hammer do? Attack speed, repair speed. That would be good actually to have a hammer with a repair speed. And I do use it from time to time. So why don't we do this? Did I learn the titanium hammer? Um, tier four. I don't remember if I did or not. I didn't. Okay, so we'll learn this the next time we level, which we're just about ready to. And then I'll make those attachments for the titanium hammer too. All right, you guys. Um, that is it for this episode. Man, this was a 58-minute recording. Of course, I'll edit it down a little bit from that. But uh, this was a good episode. I had I had a great time getting ourselves all kit out, and I'm excited to kit it out. And I'm excited to go out and, and try our newfound powers with all this cool stuff that we just did. Uh, so I'm going to let you guys go here. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll get you in the next episode. Bye-bye.